We all have questions, and Pastor Carney has answers. We all want to know what he thinks. There's important information to know. What are his thoughts? How did he get here? What's his favorite golf ball? It's time for Three Questions with Pastor Carney. I'm going to yield to Rachel. I think of Samson. Oh, she took one of mine. Okay. One of my favorite Bible studies of Samson with his strong hair and Delilah taking away his strength, but then he uses his strength one last time. So when I hear strong in the Lord, I think of Samson. It's good. I think of Daniel in the lion's den. For some reason, that's what comes to me. I think of two people, and they're going to surprise you. Okay. One is Job, Ooh, and the good. other is Moses. And I'll tell you what. Okay. Strong in the Lord. Okay, Job had everything taken away from him. Yeah. Even his wife said, honey, curse God and die and get it over with. He went, uh-uh, strong in the Lord. And then Moses, could you imagine how strong in the Lord he had to be when he got to that promised land and he's looking down and he's saying, here we go. And God says, wait a minute. You ain't going in there, buddy. And he had to be strong enough in the Lord to say, yeah, you're right. I would have said, hey, I'm going anyway. Yeah. It's like a wet paint sign. Wet paint. Is it really wet? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's wet. You know, if God says you ain't going in, I'm going, hey, I came all this way. 40 years. I'm in yeah. there, baby. Yeah. But no, he was strong in the Lord and obeyed God and didn't go in. So yeah. Job and Moses. Those are great. Yeah. Yeah. Was I singing today in the office? Um, one song. Wow, I'm I, I'm gonna go to Phil first because I gotta come down with one song. So I feel you, you're gonna take this away first. I mean, let's just keep it nice and light and go with Three Little Birds, Bob Marley. Wow. Okay. I mean, not exactly the Christian approach of a song. I mean, I'll probably go with like. Amazing Grace or something if we're going mm. simply Christian, but I wasn't thinking that way. Just something about three little birds, light, easy, you know. I'm thinking of myself on an island, and if I had to only listen to one song, it'd probably be that. So. Mm. I'm on five. I gotta narrow down. So Rachel, you gotta go next. I'd say Beautiful Day by U2. Oh. Wow. It's a beautiful day. Alright. For that one, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously not in tune, but. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go with three. Sorry, Billy. I gotta go with three. Oh, we get um, three? No, I, I do, because I, I can't narrow down. It's I, three questions, with, so why not? That's three right. Answers, so, right? Um, in, in no particular order, and for really weird, um, and Rachel's been hearing me sing these the whole time uh, in the office, um, you don't owe me. Don't tell me what to do, and don't tell me what to say. Oh, from uh, First Wives Club, uh, Bette Midler, uh, Goldie Hawn, and um, and uh, the lady with the glasses. I can't think of her name right now. It's escaping me. But uh, that song is one. Um, the opening song to Lion King. Okay. Love that song. Uh, I bless that in the radio. And uh, the... <laughs> The other song uh, I love, and you have to play it with in a convertible, top down, summertime, turn the volume up, the song that begins, what song is you want to hear? Free Bird! Free Bird. Yep. And you got to play Free Bird. So those are my top three, is uh, You Don't Own Me in uh, the movie First Wise Club, the opening song to Lion King, and then Free Bird. Yep. Got to be. Sorry. I'm also throwing Easy by the Commodores. Oh, uh, yeah, Sorry. good song, good song, yeah. Good question. Hey, Billy, you're a music guy. What's the song for you? Okay, well, it's not really a song. Mm. I was focusing more on the infinite repeat part. If I have to, every time I get in my car, listen to the exact same thing over and over and over. For as long as I'm in my car, it's not going to be a three-minute song. Oh, okay. It's Queen. The third movement. 
of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Oh, I've sung that. Great, great movement. What? Not that, yeah. Yeah. I've sung Beethoven's Ninth, yes. I thought he was going to go with like Queen, but no. Rhapsody or something. No, that thing's yeah. like really long. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tabanga! Ba -ba 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 anyway, go ahead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can you imagine hearing that over and over and over? <laughs> I laughed because Rachel and I had the discussion last week or something. Um, I don't know who started the conversation, whether you did or I did. Somebody said, I look like the guy from the movie Up. I've never seen the movie, okay? But somebody said to me, and I said, Rachel, have you seen the movie? Yeah, yeah. Do I look like the character from Up? And she went, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen up of this guy, but I guess he looks like me. Ears. Do yeah. one? Okay. And a much smaller um, nose. So people say I look like this guy from up, so I, I don't know. Okay. But um, I've got so uh, so off, off topic here, I forgot the question again. The, the question is who you look like. Uh, who I look no, like? Somebody from a movie. Th yeah, movie. Yeah. Oh, people say I look like, and I don't see this either. I get stopped on the street, and people ask me, oh, you're Henry Winkler. No. I don't see it. But people Fuzzy. think Yeah, people think I look like Henry Winkler. I don't see it. Can you give me a quick Hey. hey. <laughs> and, uh, and then the guy from Up. Um, okay. but if I was going to be compared to, to anybody, uh without the question being compared to anybody, yeah, I would have to say there there's so many people that uh, that I would be compared to just because of, of their their character or, or their parts they played in movies. Um, I, I, I like Tom Hanks, a lot of stuff that Tom Hanks does, not Da Vinci Code, but I like that. Uh, another one I, I like, uh, not really a movie character, but a director is Ron Howard. Hmm. You know, I, I like a lot of stuff that Ron Howard A lot of stuff from there. Happy Days, huh? Yeah, oh yes, maybe I am Henry Winkler, <laughs> who, who knows? But uh, yeah, so I would say anything, a, a lot of Tom Hanks, um, Ronnie Howard, Ronnie Howard, see, Opie days, uh, Ron Howard. Um, but, but, but yeah, but people think I look like Henry Winkler or the, the, the guy from, from Up, so that's me. What about you, Phil? Have you guys seen the show Impractical Jokers? No. It's, a, it's a, yeah. like a comedy funny show where they go, okay, well, I've been told many times that Murray, yes. I look like Murray. Really? And act like him mm. sometimes. So I don't know, I think. Not often. It, thank you. But yeah, I've been told that I I, I look like him. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm Murray. Wow, all right. Who are you? I have no idea. Well, we can't let that go. I know. Wow. Can we pick somebody for you? Go for it. So the question in the game was what, Billy? What movie character are you most commonly compared to? You know who I would say? I would say Rachel could definitely be in Audrey Hepburn. I don't know who that is. Who? Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I've never seen it. My Fair Lady. Never seen it. she's so elegant. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can go with that. Yeah, and she never left. She never left Professor Higgins in My Fair Lady. I feel just like, like I just got backed into a corner. Just like Rachel. Nobody backs me. <laughs> just, like, just like Rachel is not going to leave this Professor Higgins either. Oh, is that what so, we're going yeah, for? That was that the was, angle there. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so who would you say Rachel is? I don't know. I, I don't know that I know her well enough. I mean, mm. obviously Fridays we get together and do these videos, but maybe I need to get to know Rachel a little better in the next mm. two weeks. Stand by. Stand by. Who do you think Billy is? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Billy seems like, like an Inspector Gadget or something. I don't know. <laughs> Coco like, Gadget? I don't know. I <laughs> Coco Gadget! Wait, were you Inspector Gadget for Halloween Same. party? Is just, that, was that I a moment where it just popped remember, in? I uh, remember Inspector Gadget and... Maybe that's why my brain, something in my brain... Coco Gadget. Out. There is an answer to this oh. for, for me. It's okay. That I uh, frequently compare it to. Who's that? Pluto. Pluto? Pluto. Who the heck is Pluto? Pluto. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes, I see that! Yes. That's great. That is so good. I see that, yeah. Wow. I like it. That's it? That's it. 
Well, well, those are good. Now you know more about us three than you did before. Not quite sure that's a good thing or not, but it's always good with us. Yeah. We love you. You have a great day. Take care. God bless. We three are out of here. James Murray, out. Out. See ya. Yeah, if you've got questions uh, that you'd like to have answered by Pastor, please make sure that you email us, send us a text, put it in the comment below, and uh, we'll make sure to get your question answered. Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions about Redeemer, have a topic or interview suggestion, or need to know anything about the church, you can contact the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Pastor Carney at Pastor underscore Carney at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Phil at Phil.Prevail at gmail.com, or Billy at RLC underscore IT at RedeemerWarsaw.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please join us again next week. And until then, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you.